Just want to start this off by saying I'm going to try a new editing style this time, so let me know what you think. I'm going to record the audio and gameplay separate. So number one, we have Epithet. Epithet adds over 600 new nicknames based on your traits, culture, religion, prestige, and piety. You can add to that role-playing aspect if you're into that, and they plan to add many more, so it's a great mod for sure. Number two might be my favourite on this list, and it's more traits, Commander. So as the name suggests, it adds more Commander traits, with three different levels. Veteran, Advanced and Basic, so 21 traits in total. To gain Veteran, the character will need to be 40 years or older, and this will include a big martial bonus and a combat specialisation. Basic traits include ones such as Weapons Expert, which gives you 10% more enemy fatal casualties and plus 5 attack or advantage. Explorer, which is 20% faster movement speed, 20% less attrition in hostile counties, which that's a really good one, I like Explorer. So, for advanced skills, you got ones such as Archer Master. That'll give you 20% more Archer damage and toughness. Like I said, there's 21 in total, so check the description for a link to their workshop. But coming in at number 3, we have Edo's France map. Now, this map is truly incredible, I was going to make a full video about it, but I wanted to place it into the system instead, and I'll get into that in a sec. So, it includes 3,728 counties, 350 duchies, 96 kingdoms, and 30 empires. So at the start of the game, every ruler will hold a duchy, as that's what they recommend is the most fun, but you can change that if you feel like. Now, the reason I didn't make a full video about it is it's not been developed any further, and basically there's no terrain in it, so it's not perfect, has issues, so I decided to put it in this instead, as I believe it deserves to at least be praised and mentioned in one of these lists. So let me know if you've played this map and what you think about it down below. Coming in at number 4 we have Dynamic XP. This is a pretty new mod, but it has a big impact on the lifestyle and focuses. It allows you to swap to a different focus without having to wait for the cooldown to finish. But the biggest change this mod has is you will gain 5% XP for each point in the correct skill. So if you have 10 levels in a skill, you will gain 25% XP in a given skill tree, and that is the base game amount. Now if you have a super high stewardship, you would gain way more XP in that focus tree, and an education trait like Midas Touched will be considered the XP boost. So you could seriously gain your desired perks much faster than vice versa, much slower in skills your character sucks at, so it can hinder you that way. But either way, it's a pretty cool mod, I enjoy using it. So number 5, we have more bookmarks plus. This mod includes 12 bookmarks, which is crazy on its own, but it does even more than that. It aims to make a way more detailed map, from Liberia to Mongolia, including 300 new counties. Also, it modifies the current game counties, duchies and kingdoms. It even adds more cultures and finally, 159 more coat of arms, which they claim are better looking and add a bit more variety, which is good. Now the bookmarks include 936, 1068, 1018, 1081, 1124, 1160, 1186, 1204, 1220, 1241, 1267, and finally 1285. So as you can see, loads of new bookmarks, loads more variety to your game, new things to try definitely worth trying. Just wanted to quickly say thank you so much for watching. I had a great amount of views and all the comments have been great, so thank you. And if you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe. I'm bringing out more of this all the time. Anyway, hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.